Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here today. If you will, uh, like, share, comment on the post. And then if you are where you can, if you want to join me in the 17th chapter of the book of Acts, we're going to be primarily looking at uh, verse 3, but um, we're going to back up and um, get a running start from verse 2. We looked at verse 2 uh, yesterday, uh, just to remind you um, how um, how these events come, um, how they came about. Uh, the Bible says that uh, after uh, Paul uh, arrives in Thessalonica, he goes to the synagogue, uh, which again, it says was his custom. And for three, uh, three Sabbaths, uh, he discussed and reasoned with the people scripture. Important to note that if he was... Um, in the, in the synagogue, if he went uh, there and reasoned with them uh, at that point, that um, he was speaking with, uh, with Jews. Uh, he was talking to those who um, should be um, or, or, or would have been, um, definitely should have been, uh, looking and expecting the Messiah. Uh, they had. Uh, they would have been teaching it. They would have been looking for it um, and waiting on the uh, arrival of the Messiah. And so Paul goes in and for three weeks he talks to them. And then look what it says he talked to them about in verse three, explaining and proving that it was necessary for the Christ or the Messiah uh, to suffer and to rise from the dead and saying this Jesus whom I proclaim to you is the Christ or the Messiah. So uh, Paul, for three weeks in a row, speaks to these men, uh, again, who should be uh, looking, um, and no reason to think they wouldn't have been as, as good Jews, uh, about uh, the Messiah, uh, that the Messiah was, uh, was to come, and now in Jesus Christ, uh, he had, in fact, uh, arrived. And I come back and I touched on this some yesterday as we looked at verse 2, and we saw the phrase that he reasoned with them from scriptures. Uh, now we see specifically what part of scripture uh, that, he, uh, that he brings out. Again, he doesn't teach any of his own opinions or philosophies. Um, he doesn't debate with them uh, the Ten Commandments, not that they are not uh, you know, important, not that they are not the Word of God. Um, he doesn't discuss um, you know, any number of other topics that, uh, that Scripture uh, would, uh, would be appropriate to discuss. Um, and if you have ever uh, spoken to someone and tried to talk to someone about the need to being, uh, for them to be saved, for someone to accept Christ as their Savior, um, you know that one of uh, the tactics that Satan will use and uh, put in their mind, you start talking to them about salvation, you start talking to them about Jesus Christ, and they will come back and, uh, and try to distract or distort or uh, redirect the conversation. So, well, what does your church believe about drinking? Or what does your church believe about dancing? Or what does your church believe about women preachers? Or, you know, something that, again, any of those things um, are, are topics that certainly um, we could um, reason together from Scripture uh, about. Again, any number. Uh, of topics, you know, what do you think about tithing? What do you know? What do you, um, you know, think about uh, a lot of different issues? What does your church teach about this? And all of those again are things that could um, be discussed from Scripture, but this is the one that ultimately matters um, when a person gets this one right, uh, it's amazing how many of the other ones begin to fall into place without much discussion. Once they accept the fact that Jesus Christ uh, was crucified, that he died on a cross, was uh, buried and then resurrected, ascended back to his Father uh, to pay for man's salvation, uh, once we understand that and we accept that uh, and uh, we accept him as our Savior, uh, many of the other things, then the Holy Spirit begins to work in a person uh, and 
and, and, and removes a lot of those doubts uh, and questions. And so Paul preaches for three, uh, three Sabbaths um, that uh, he was uh, there and he preached to them uh, again repeatedly um, this message, uh, the the message of Jesus Christ, and uh, that that is the message, and that's the message you and I need to take and not let uh, this world um, distract us and get us off task from the simple message of Jesus Christ. Keep that in mind today. Have a good one. We'll see you here tomorrow.